Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. I hope everyone's doing okay. I've got a bit of a cold, so excuse the huskier voice. So I'm using purples and silver on a round canvas and I'm gonna do my puddle, swipe and marble technique. I've absolutely fallen in love with this technique and I've had so much great feedback. So thank you all so much for always supporting me, but always writing in those comments. I read every single one and I reply to everyone as well. So thank you. Okay, so I'm doing a round canvas, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to puddle my paints to begin with, and then I'm going to take a couple of the colours and do a few circles on the canvas as well. So I'm only using light and darker violet and purple shades with a silver and my swipe colour is going to be white mixed with Australian Floetrol. And this time I'm also going to add a puddle within a puddle. So I've put the original puddles down and now I'm just adding a separate tone on top of the original puddle. And I'm just waiting to see what kind of design that creates when I add the marble to the creation and tilt it out. Here come the circles. So it'll be really interesting to see if a completely different kind of design is made on top by adding puddles and smaller circles to the base before swiping and then stretching it out. Okay, so my swipe paint is Amsterdam's Titanium White mixed with Australian Floetrol. One part paint to three parts Floetrol. This time I think I'm going to swipe around the circles. So I'm just going to go on that outer edge and literally let the palette knife glide on top of the paint. Okay, just need to do the other half. I don't add a lot of pressure. I literally like my palette knife to sit on top of that paint and literally just glide. So I don't force down that pressure and I don't move much of the paint as I go. Wow, that lacing and those cells that are popping up and appearing that detail is gorgeous. And it'd be interesting to see how different it is by only swiping the outer edge. So there's my marble. Let's get tilting. So I'm able to have quite a lot of control over the marble. Two reasons for that. One, the paint is fairly thick in consistency. So the marble will be a lot slower. But also the marble that I've chosen isn't as heavy as some of the other marbles that I've got. So it's quite light, but not too light where it just kind of rolls off the piece. So that's how I'm able to control how I move the marble. And I'm just doing a few patterns because when you think about it, the patterns that you're going to kind of create within the middle of that piece are going to get stretched out.
Now, this is the bit that I always say there's no need to rush. Get a feeling of the canvas when you pick it up. Feel where the weight of the paint is and have an idea in your mind which edge you want to go for first. Now, because this is a round canvas, I'm almost kind of tilting it in a round position. I'm tilting it and tipping it in a circular motion because I want to be able to keep that pattern within the middle of that creation whilst also balancing the swipe areas that I've created the lacing with. And it's totally okay to put the piece down, reassess, have a look at the overall composition and then pick it up again and make alterations and tilt until you're happy with the design that you've got within your canvas. I was going to cut this bit out, but you're going to see me be really happy and celebrate with a bit of a happy dance. Bit embarrassing, but I thought, why the hell not? I'm really happy with this, and I hope you are too. <laughs> happy dance, Mark. Happy dance. I'm just using my finger to catch all the drips around the edge. I do this so that the design isn't pulled off from the surface of the canvas down the edges. By catching those drips, you're minimising any movement taking place. So... Here's the wet look close-up version. And guys, I love the detail on this. I love all those lines. I love the lacing and I love the block of colour. And I think it's a really good balance of all of that. And using that marble really creates interesting lines and patterns itself. So I was really happy when I was just swiping. But by adding that marble also kind of creates a different look and dimension to a piece. I think I'm just really mesmerised by the detail on this piece and I don't know if it's got a different vibe and feel to it because it's on a round canvas because all my others have been on a rectangular one but yeah I'm really happy with this and I'm definitely going to use this colour palette again on a rectangular canvas just to see how different it can be. Okay so dried version and I just love that shimmer. There's no gloss varnish on this yet. It still needs to dry for another couple of weeks and cure. But wow, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I'd love to know what you think. What other colours do you think I should do? I've got a couple of ideas already. But what other colours do you think I should do? And do you think I should stick to a round canvas or go back to a rectangular one? Or maybe even a square one? Thank you so much for all of your support and for watching me this week. I hope you continue to have a great week and I hope to see you again very soon. Take care everyone. Bye.